Okay, so here's my swing arm setup. This is all built this last night. There's the slide bearings, and wheels inside the track up to here, and this rod slides in there as it goes in and out as I have kind of explained in previous videos here. Now, it's all adjusted so that it's holding it where it needs to be when the slide out is in. It's all worked, that's fine. But I have a little bit of a dilemma because when I slide it out, and I'll do that in a couple of minutes, maybe some out there is smarter than I am and has the solution to this but so it's where it needs to be on the outside but on the slide outs in but when I slide it out what happens is this arm here ends up being too long doesn't make any sense to me because the distance between this point and that point and this point and that point there whoops forgot I was filming there are exactly the same 29 and a half inches so in theory as it folds up it should be in the right place it should hold this this should go straight back and hold it where it needs to be right here but it doesn't so my geometry is screwed up somewhere and I can't figure out where so maybe if somebody actually paid attention in geometry school they can tell me what I'm doing wrong because obviously I'm screwing something up and I haven't figured out what it is yet um, so I'm gonna go and pause this and push the slide out out to the other position and you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I got it slid out. Those two points now, they are the same length. But, if you see the gap we have here, it's picked that up about mm, three eighths of an inch. And you can see it gets wider to the top, you know, where, yeah, it's more than that, it's more like an inch. That's supposed to be an inch and a half gap there, it's only like a half an inch. So it's an inch to too long. Obviously that's what's the problem here, but when it's out holding it in the right position, it's right. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm trying to figure that out. It all works nice and smooth and, and uh, does what it's supposed to do. Somewhere along the line I screwed up in my geometry and I don't know exactly where it is. So, anybody has any ideas? I'd love to hear it. Anyways, I'm going to continue trying to figure this out. Okay, so Pops is going to pull it in and out. Go through its... Uh, we'll just pretend he's a hydraulic cylinder. So it all works nice and smooth. But it just picks this corner up. I'd say darn near an inch. So, let's go back the other way. I'll film that. And you can't, because that's, anyways, it's that, to go all the way in now, 
Uh, the hydraulic cylinder will just pull, pull it into place, but for now i got to put that strap on there and pull it in the last inch or whatever to get it to exactly into place. But anyways, yeah. The head scratching continues. One of the guys at work is a pretty smart feller when it comes to, <laughs> to geometry and, and figuring this kind of stuff out. So I'm going to let get him to take a look at it see if he's got any ideas. But if anybody else has any ideas, I'd be love to hear them. Anyways, that's it for now. Okay, I think we figured out what the problem is. That? Nothing. Just talking to myself. <laughs> uh, I think what it is, is I screwed up when I built this. And the dimension from between these three points, this one here, there, there is the same, but the point from here to here is longer. I screwed up and I didn't put this point in the center. So when we go and put it all the way in, this is too long. We can push it in to where it needs to be, but it bends this rod. So I think what's happening is that all three of these need to be the same length. It doesn't matter what length it is, as long as they're the same. And I screwed that up. So, uh, If anybody's looking at this and goes, Oh, I know exactly what's wrong with that. Let me know. Because right now I'm just working on a theory. But um, I think that's what it is. But anyways, I'm going to... Uh, Pull that apart and try it. Modify it, try it. I gotta shorten it up an inch and a quarter, I think it is. Okay, so we figured it out. That's what it was. Works properly now. It's holding it uh, right where it needs to be when it's in. Roll it out. It's at the right height, so that's all it was. I was just a dumbass screwed up. <laughs> There's a big surprise. Oh, nice and flush with the outside of the bus. And when I, uh, I won't bother rolling it in now, but when it rolled in, we did do it a couple of times. And when you roll it in, it supports the outside uh, right where it should. So. All the dimensions work good, so now I'll uh, just go ahead and make the rest of them up. And do the other side and the, the other end of this one and uh, do the uh, slide out on the other side. So, happy day.